Hello everyone, welcome back to one of my videos again. Today I'm just going to try and compare a few differences. Totally unrehearsed, but something I noticed earlier. And uh, yeah, so let's get on between my, sorry, between my Traxxas Slash and my Maverick Timberwolf. It seems that on the body shell, there you are. The body shell seems to come down and tuck in behind the bumper on this one, on the front, and whereas the Maverick, it seems to go over the bumper. I don't know what's better. Perhaps, yeah, let the bumper take the wallet rather than the body shell. I didn't knew, but um, yeah. So let's have a quick look underneath. So on the tracks of Slash, we have the servo mounted up, uh, sorry, facing down, and on this one we have the servo mounted facing up. So similarities between them there. I've been running this outside, leaves everywhere. Battery goes in on Velcro straps with this one. You can see that. One thing I don't like is where the battery sits. Get out of the way. Where the battery sits. I'm gonna have to put something there because like if, if you do a jump or it does a bad tumble, the screw is just slightly sticking out there and I've noticed that lucky I, I use um hard cased batteries. If that had been a soft one, it probably might have damaged it. So yeah, that's something. And um, this one seems to have <clears throat> this one seems to have a middle differential, whereas this one just has a front and rear differential, if I'm not mistaken. The battery is held on by this, which sort of tucks in there and clips down with a body clip. And these are Velcro straps, as mentioned. So the motor and on this one is a 4000 kV and the motor on the Traxxas Slash is a 3500 kV. Oh, excuse me, I'm tired. Running my own tires on this one. These are some, I don't know what they are, they're quite soft actually. Quite soft, but they don't offer much grip. Once they get wet on the tarmac, they don't offer much grip. Number ten. Yeah, these these seem to be doing all right. My roadies, my my uh, eagles, they seem to be doing all right. Yeah. Otherwise, this is quite a oh the uh, linkages. They're non-adjustable. They're plastic fixed positions. So yeah, something. But yeah, I put my own oil and that in the shocks. It's very, it's quite stiff. It seems to be rather, rather nice. And it's riding, ride height. Let's have a look. So ride height. We're looking about that much. Whereas if I take it to the side, we're looking quite a bit quite a bit higher so yeah it's about half inch difference in ride height maybe so, yeah but um, yeah, um weight wise sorry weight wise I think I think the slash is a little bit lighter and um, yeah the traction control really does make a difference on the slash though, driving that in the wet. The other day, it's, uh, yeah, definitely. But one thing I did notice that was quite uncanny really, was this is the Maverick Timberwolf, and this is the slash body shell. So if I go over there, it's on 
there. And if, if they wasn't bent, they would fit on there. There we go. That fits on there like so. And if I take the... Uh, oh yes, and the body shell's covered the bumper as it did with the Maverick. So that's just the way the bumper's designed then, shorter. So they're very similar. I'll take this one, which is the Maverick body shell. And that goes on there as well. So <coughs> it doesn't quite fit the rear. I don't know what's going on with the rear arches though. Sorry. It doesn't quite fit the rear arches though. So but um yeah, it's very the body post and everything, the body mount's the same position. Which is rather interesting, but otherwise, the tyre sirens are about the same. Same wheelbase is about the same. Let's take the shells back off. Wheelbase. In fact, the tracks looks a tiny bit shorter on the wheelbase, which would explain why the uh, back wheel tucks under the wheel arch. But uh, yeah, overall, I have to say. I like them both really. I think it's possible that being as this has got a 4000 kV motor that this one Maverick may be, may be slightly faster in a straight line but it's just not quite as good as acceleration whereas this the tracks are slash. Well I have to say the acceleration is lethal the mid-range punch is absolutely dynamite. I'm very happy with it. I don't know what, it's just totally stock, I uh, don't know what pinion gear it's even got. I know there's another one included in the box. I might give that a go, but the top speed is noticeably down, but that could be down to being a 3,500 kV and 4,000 kV, so who knows. But yeah, anyway, so I'm going to be getting the Traxxas Slash, uh, sorry, a Traxxas Rustler 4x4 soon. So yeah, I'll be doing a video on that as well. And um, yeah, anyway, that's about it for now. Thanks for watching, cheers, bye.